Hi guys, just want to do a quick video on my new setup for Ender 6 that I brought from the US. Uh, this is a Hamera extruder. Uh, I did print out the mount, All right, this mount. Also print out these two mounts for the duct. They're actually from different uh, designers on Thingiesverse. Now, the good thing with Hamera extruder is that uh, a flush mount is available for the Ender 6 and many other Enders. I found one that fits perfect, really like this mount. And then it didn't actually come with the duck mounts that I wanted, so I actually printed these two out from another mount. Uh, now they're interchangeable. You don't, for the duck mounts, you can get it from anything. Like if it's made for Ender 3, Ender 6, it doesn't matter because it straps onto the extruder itself. So you really gotta just worry about the mount for your printer. And then these ducks, um, I got it off uh, another design on things first. I'll have links to those two things if you guys want. I'm also running uh, Clipper along with Octoprint. There's my Pi there and my little webcam. Um, I the, Some of the wiring, I just spliced it together. I should, yeah, if you want to really do it right, you should actually just uh, solder it and then shrink wrap it. But I basically, I didn't want to just take the whole wires apart, so I just spliced them i spliced the new um the hot end stuff the the thermistor um you can they're, they're just they don't have a plus or minus so you can just uh just splice it i just use electrical tape um i mean it, it works fine you know it's it's not like this thing is just like an electric skateboard moving around all the time uh, as long as you splice them and you know tape them up it's good i'm sure some of the oh the thing's gonna fucking hit the tape uh, maybe not the best idea. I think I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to put a zip tie there, otherwise it's gonna it might get in the way. Um, so yeah, I like it so far. A little ghetto, but the results are like amazing. This is a uh, Perusum and Pet G. I was having so much trouble with uh, my previous setup, which is E3D Volcano with Bowden tube. I shortened it. I did everything um, that everybody's doing on Facebook. And boy, it, it was just a headache for the last six months. Once I upgraded to Hamera, everything just works out of the box. The only thing I changed was the pin, the directional pin uh, for the clipper setup. And I also changed, obviously, the only um, disadvantage to Hamera is it makes your Y axis so much bigger. So you lose exactly 30 millimeters. So instead of 250, um, you're pr printing 220 millimeters for the Y, which is not a huge deal. A hugely bad deal, uh, but I totally recommend Hamera. I know there's like some other direct extruders, um, but I, I really love this one. Uh, just printing out flawless. I haven't even took it uh, fast yet, but yeah, this is printing actually I think better than my Perusa. Perusa has like on the side whenever I print, there's slight some of the miss you know, misses, but this just prints just awfully, awfully perfect. It's at point two, and just I'm just amazed at how well it prints. Um, uh, Homera, it, it just this thing just rocks. So highly recommended. You get under five, under six, under three. I think this is the way to go, uh, or any kind of other direct drive, because without a direct drive, you're just really relying on retraction settings. And when you're printing, you know, it, it really doesn't show up on like simpler objects. But I find that when you print like now, something more complex more, more bigger that's when the retraction really screws you up i mean you print like 80 percent of the way and then you know something gets clogged or something gets messed up with direct extruder you don't have to worry about any of that it just prints you know and that's why perusa printers are great because it comes with a direct uh, drive but you don't have to spend the money you can get an ender uh the ender i would say is actually the because this is core xy it makes way less noise than my perusa my Perusa, one of the biggest problems I see is the Z, this, the, the Y axis is always moving uh, back and forth. They're running about the same speed, but this thing is constantly making so much damn noise. This, this is the noisiest printer ever. I mean, I love it, but I just feel like this is slightly outdated. And even Perusa XL uh, is going to be come out with Core XY. So I think, you know, I, I know it's a lot of work to put Clipper. Put Octoprint and then put Hamera, but it's definitely worth it. 
I think you get better prints with this setup. Um, I still love my Perusa, but I paid, a, a, you know, twice more. And it, I would recommend the Perusa if you don't want to mess with anything. You're not good with modding and stuff. But, you know, this just just makes sense. And uh, I'm, just, I'm just surprised how um, good it will, how well it works. Um, and I, I just did it in a hurry because I just wanted to see if this was going to work or not. And then my, um, yeah, it's, it's working really well. Some of the screws I had to, like, sort of... DIY but it prints really well um, yeah that's it